Hey YouTube, we're doing something a little bit different today. As you can see, we're out in the goat pasture again. And today we're just gonna show you what we do to move our goats. We have about a little over 40 head. Um, we rotationally graze them. We try and move them every week. We're not always very good about that. Um, but that's that's kind of our goal. And a big part of that is not so much for the benefits to the grass, although Rotational grazing, giving this stuff some rest period is a good thing. It gets us some regrowth and what have you. Uh, the main reason that we're doing it is for parasite control. So one of the main uh, parasites that they get is the barber pole worm. And it takes approximately, I, I think anywhere from 3 to 10 days or something like that, for the eggs of those worms to hatch uh, when they're out on pasture and then for them to ingest. So if we keep them moving every week, then that limits the number of those that they will ingest, uh, thereby limiting the number of uh, the worm load that the goats have. So that's what we're shooting for. Um, you can see here, it's they've eaten this pasture down quite a bit. Uh, it's not it's not super low. There should be plenty here for regrowth. I hope. But we're going to move them on to the next pasture. They'll be there for probably a little over a week. We're getting ready to go on a trip for a little while, so we're putting them in one of the big pens that we've got so that that'll last a little while. But the very first thing that we're going to do is get hooked up to the water wagon and get that moved. So here's our current water wagon. Um, the very first thing we do is unhook the hose. This is a uh, little giant float that we use we've had really good luck with it um, and then this little tank I think this tank is probably somewhere around 30 or 40 gallons something to that effect when we move them we waste a little bit of water um, if I'm thinking about it I shut the water off like the night before uh, but also it's not that big a deal if we do have to waste a little bit I'd much rather pour a little bit of this water out uh, in order to move it than I would to, to limit the goats on water. So I'm gonna just dump it out. And then throw this up on the wagon and pack our hose up. And then we'll go up and refill these tanks. They're not down too far, but for this, we wanna have them nice and full. Okay, we've got everything pulled up here to the hydrant. I've just got a hose thrown up in this tank on the right hand side here. But what I do whenever I'm filling these is in order to hook a hose on to the bottom whenever we, we water, I've got a few fittings there and a, a hose bib. And then if you see that, that's a double female fitting. So I've got it screwed on to the hose bib and the male end of the hose. And then over on our other tank, I've got the same hose, the other end, connected normally and I've got both hose bibs open so that way as our right tank fills it'll also transfer water over into the left tank now obviously it doesn't move from the right tank to the left tank as fast as the hose is putting it in the right tank but it does buy us some time I can go do some other stuff uh, and I don't have to come back as soon to come switch the hose from one tank to another tank this is one thing that I want to improve with the other water wagon uh, that we started in another video. Um, this is going to be hosed a little bit different, a little bit bigger, so that I can just hook up the hose to one spot, fill up all three tanks at one time without having to come back and, and look at it. But this is how we do it on this rig. Okay, we're in the mule now. Uh, headed to go check on the fence, make sure this is bumpy, I'm sorry, but the uh, path I'm driving on is pretty bumpy. But I'll flip you around. And you can see, so this is where we're at. Yeah, Sonny and Cher following me around here. Uh, you can see this grass kind of eating down. And then I'll show you the fence line on where they're getting ready to go. So, he's looking down the fence line there where they've been. And then this is where they're headed. Uh, everything looks pretty good. It's it's not had any animals on it yet this year, so hopefully they can do some good on it, get some good out of it, and maybe get a little bit more regrowth before the winter. So now we're gonna cruise along here and 
make sure the fence is all in good shape. We did, we just did some repairs on it not too long ago, but uh, we have a pretty bad problem with uh, deer getting caught up in it over in this side. So we're gonna go check it out before we turn anybody out and have a problem. Okay, it didn't look too bad. There's a couple places that the deer tore up and I had to put in a couple more posts, but overall not too bad. As you can see, we just use uh, four wire, hot wire here. The battle that we fight is that everything is semi-permanent. Um, we haven't been able to put in good permanent fencing yet, so we kind of battle the, the issues with this not being as, as robust as it could be. So we got to do this pretty much every time we move the goats, but I'm going to go back and uh, make sure the fence is on and get one more post put in and then we'll be pretty close to moving the goats. Alright, the water's moved, so now we need the dog feeder. Well, I've got the gate over here open, but it looks like they're more interested in the the mule so maybe I'll just pull it through and see what they think of that Okay, they finally decided that this was an okay, okay place to be. This is my favorite part of moving goats. I, I hate feeding them with grain or anything, but I could stand out here and watch them graze all day. And when they first come into the new paddock, they just... They go after it like crazy. They found an autumn olive bush back here that they like quite a bit. Alright, now that they're through and out here out of the way, we can go back and get the water set up and get the dog feeder filled and set up. Okay, we got the water tank put in, the hoses hooked up. A couple things to note about how we do this is, one, we gotta make sure that tank's level, so a lot of times it requires sticking a, a board underneath one side or what have you. Um, the other thing is, is, I like to run the hose under the bottom wire and then space the tank plenty far away from the fence. Um, you don't really wanna get so far away that they want to walk between the fence and the tank all the time, but we have had a couple times where the tank got pushed into the fence, and since that float is metal, it basically energized the wire, and every time they went to get a drink, they got shocked just like the fence was shocking them. So that would be a good way to, to kill a bunch of animals if you don't check on them often enough if they, uh, 
if they aren't drinking because they're getting shocked each time. So be careful about that. We got the dog feeder set up over there. They're a little confused because it moved, but we'll show them, make sure they get in there. Um, I like to put it up here close to the water just because it's simple to check everything all here at one time. I've got a almost a full 30 pound bag of dog food in there, so that will last them a while. The water wagon I usually park on the opposite side of the fence. That just helps. They don't try to come over here and mess with it or anything. Um, right now I've just got it hooked up to this one tote, but what I'll do oftentimes and what I plan on doing here, I just don't have a hose with me, is I'll hook up this Y fitting. This hose would be connected to one side of it. And then I put that double female on the other and then run a hose from that double female over to the other tank and so I wire the two tanks together basically uh, to fill that way it just gives me that much more water time before I have to do anything um, again that's something I'm going to set up a little bit better on the, the new water wagon but this is the best we've got for right now but it seems to work a tank will last them it depends on the time of year um, whenever the the forage is nice and green and lush um, they really don't drink that much a tank will last them well over a week um, in the in the winter when they're eating hay um, it'll, they'll go through it pretty quick so it's just something we keep an eye on but it, it lasts them quite a while so it's not something we have to, to worry about very often but they're uh, the goats are off exploring their pen and ought to be fat and happy we'll make sure the dogs get some feed and uh, we're good to go thanks for watching like and subscribe if you uh, like what you're seeing here We'll try and do some more videos with the goats as we go. Uh, it seems like we've always got some kind of project with them. So we'll see you later.